Blake, uh, what was your reaction to Kevin taking you out in that situation, and how surprised or disappointed were you? Uh, yeah, I mean, no, I mean, definitely disappointed, upset. Um, you know, I don't know. I just want the ball. I felt good. I felt I did everything I could to, you know, prove my case to stay out there. Um, and then for us to lose, you know, it just it sucks. Um, yeah, it's not. I mean, I don't really know what to say. You know, I just I, I want to win, and I want to win the World Series, and that's the goal. So for us to lose, uh, yeah, I mean, it just sucks. I mean, I'm not gonna question him. I mean, he's he's a hell of a manager, so I'm not gonna question him. Uh, I'll voice my opinion, and yeah, I can only look forward to you know the off season, what I'm gonna accomplish this off season to get ready to. You know, be the best me I can be for, for next year. But we came up short, um, and the only thing you can do from this point is get better and focus on what, you know, what I can do to be better for next year. This year is over with. Uh, congrats to the Dodgers. You know, they, they, they played better than us, uh, and they earned it. So, so good job to them. But, yeah, we just we came up short, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing, you know, I, I wish I could have been what? So we're having trouble hearing you, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying that, you know, it, it sucks. And I want to be the guy that stays out there as long as I can and, you know, give this team the chance to win every ball game. And it sucks, you know, being pulled. But, yeah, pretty much that's it. Do you feel like there was anything you could have done to stay in the game longer that you could have done any better? Uh, no shot. Yeah, that was, that was one of my better games I've pitched uh, in a long time, honestly. So... Um, the way I was controlling the zone, you know, the way I was adjusting through the uh, seeing them, you know, I mean, I felt very comfortable out there. Um, the way that I scouted them, the way that I, you know, scouted myself um, with everything, I mean, I, I knew what they were looking for. I knew when I was going to switch it up. I knew when I was going to adjust in the game because I knew they were going to adjust their game plan. I mean, when it comes to you know understanding that team and what I needed to do to succeed, I was really locked in. I knew, I mean, yeah, I, I felt I did everything I sh I could have done to stay in that game and you know go as long as I could have gone. Um, yeah, so no, I, I scouted them and myself uh, really, really strongly. So um, with everything, you know, I, I'm confident in my ability and what I would have continued to do. So um, yeah. I, I did everything I could to be the best me I could be today. Juan Trubio. Hey, Blake. Just kind of with that, is it frustrating that they don't let you get through a, a third time through the lineup? That's kind of what Cash said that uh, was kind of part of the decision today. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to be tough, man. Like, I, I get it's a third time through the lineup, but, I mean, you, what I think I'm going to make the adjustments I need to make as I see them, you know, a third time, I think, I don't know, man. I just believe in me. I believe in my stuff. I believe in, you know, what I was doing. I didn't walk nobody. Um, they had two, you know, hits up the middle, you know, the slider to Barnes, you know, tip your cap. That was a bad pitch. Um, and he got a hit off that. Good job. But for, for most of that game, man, I was dominating every, you know, every every out, outcome possible. So, um, and that lineup is so talented, like so talented and yeah, I don't know. I'm just I'm proud in the way that, you know, I scouted them. I scouted myself. I'm just proud of everything I did to to put the team in a situation to win and and I wanted to keep going, man. I felt I felt so confident, in, you know, how I adjusted through seeing them a second time and what I was going to be able to do a third time. Like, man, I just I believed a lot in myself and what I did to, you know, hopefully see them a third time through and a fourth time if needed. I mean, I wanted to go that whole game. That was my that was everything I wanted to do was just, you know, burn the tank and see how far I could go. Were you surprised? I mean, was there any conversation there between you and Kat? Uh, no, when no. No, nah, there was no convo. He just came out and, you know, that was it. He said a hell of a job and, yeah, but I don't know. When you, when you see the outcome, it sucks because we ended up losing. So, at the end of the day, like, I want to be the guy that's out there win or lose. Like, I want it to be, like, I lost the game or, you know, I won the game by, you know, putting a performance that could have helped the team win, win or lose. So, I mean, you could say I'm being selfish, but I just felt with how I felt today, like, you got, I just want to ride.
Justin Grant. I gotta stay Wait, part of the reason why you guys made it to the World Series was because of the unique decision-making of cash and of the front office. And as yeah. a competitor, are you able to, to see and understand why he made that decision at the time he did? Or <laughs> with what your stuff was like tonight, can you not comprehend why that decision was made? Um, I mean, I, I said it to Mark's question. I mean, Cash is a hell of a manager. We can't take that away from him. I mean, if Nick gets out of the, the jam like he usually does and our bullpen holds it down like they usually do, no one's talking about it. So at the end of the day, I see both sides. Um, but, I, I mean, just me and the way that, you know, I felt that game and what he was able to see during that game, I just – I don't want to be taken out of that game. I mean, I don't like being taken out of any game, honestly. And for the most part, you know, me and Cash, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to side with him because I know how good of a manager he is. And, you know, it's just tough. It's tough because, like, I felt so good. I felt like I did everything I could possibly do to succeed against that Dodger lineup, which is really hard to do because of how talented they are. So, I don't know, man. I, for me, I just I want to be the guy that goes out there. And if, if they beat me, they beat me. But if I beat them, I beat them. Um, and that was kind of just how I was looking at it. Like I wanted to, I wanted to burn out. Like I wanted to be the one that won or lost that game. So um, it's just tough, man. And I don't know like how to word it or say it. Like Cash is usually right. So for you guys that are gonna write bad stories on the decision, like he's usually right. Um, and yeah, man, it just it sucks. I mean, I'm a competitor. I want to be the best in the world. So it sucks for me on that end. And you know, it's just there's no real way to angle this to make a what he should have done or shouldn't have done. Like he's usually right when he takes people out. So there's no, you know, pointing the fingers or anything like that. It's just I'm a competitor. He's a competitor. Everyone on this team's a competitor. So he, he did what he thought was going to be the best move. And, you know, they capitalized on it. And that's that. Got time for a couple more. Go to Stephanie Epstein. Like, do you think it's harder to have lost this way than it would have been if you had gone out there and, like, if he left you out and you'd given up a home run or whatever and lost that way? Uh, well, I'm going to just say I'm not going to go out there to give up a home run and lose that way. That's just – that's not happening. Um, the way, like, my mind works, I don't see, like, them doing that. I see, you know, me succeeding and me, you know, sticking to a game plan, adjusting, learning, and growing. And that's that's how I've always looked at it. So I don't look at it like if I stayed out there, they would have hit a home run. I look at it as if I stayed out there, like, we're going to win because there's – I don't really – put negative into my mind or like they can hit a home run and get hits like I always look at what I can do and you know I look at the best version of myself and that's kind of how I've always done it but yeah I don't know I just want to be the guy that's out there and if if I lose like I do but I just you know I just don't see it and I never will see it because I always look at a positive angle of what I'm going to be able to accomplish um but that's I don't know it's just how I work I work that way of always you know believing in myself and knowing that I'm the best option Last question from Jesse Rogers. Like a lot of players around the league uh, tweeted about computers and analytics running things when you were pulled. Is that sort of the ultimate sign of baseball today that, you know, this sort of move is it's not uncommon, let's put it that way? Yeah, it's definitely not uncommon. Um, I don't know, man. It's just the, the hardest thing for me is I was rolling. I was in a groove. Um, you know, I just really felt dominant and I felt like I had them guessing and you know, I just, it's just tough for me, man. It's going to be tough for me for a while to, like, accept that and accept, you know, losing the World Series. It's it's a lot, man. I, I don't really know how to look at it. It's just, it sucks. And whatever way you look at it, we lost. So if I would have stayed out there and we, we lost. So losing sucks. But the only thing I could say that I hope before, like, I wrap this up, um, I just hope, you know, the guys understand, like, we should not be okay with taking second or losing. Like we should not be okay with that. We got to find a way to be better for next year. Coming to spring hungry, um, getting this far and losing should be the worst feeling in the world. So um, for the guys in the clubhouse, I just hope you know they understand. Rest a couple weeks if that's what they're gonna do, and then get ready for like a championship season next year. We got to win it all. This losing stuff isn't fun and. When, when you get this kind of opportunity and, you know, you lose to a great team, every team's great in the playoffs, but when you lose to a team, it really does suck. So I just hope the guys in our clubhouse get ready for next year and, you know, we come out to win this thing next year and hopefully 
this can fuel us. But outside of that, we had a good year. Um, we had a lot of good memories, a lot of things that, you know, propel us in the right direction. So that's that from my end. But hope you guys have a good off season. Y'all stay healthy with this whole COVID. And, um, yeah, congratulations to the Dodgers. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.